Hey guys, so in the warehouse here, picking through a few new products. So actually some test product for us, uh, which is the JBL Studio 6 series. This is the first series of high fidelity speaker that they do for the home, which feature the compression driver technology. So this means really clear, really precise audio and high frequencies at very demanding levels as well. So they can play loud and clear, they're very efficient. Um, and they have these special waveguides to control the directivity, control the energy into the room. All of that, really important, particularly for cinema, because we play it really loud and we need it to be clear and comfortable and awesome. So let's check out the studio, uh, what do we got here? The 665C, this is the largest of their center channels. Now these are box speakers, so traditional freestanding towers and maybe a tabletop style box center channel, which this one is. And they do have and have launched already the Studio 6 architectural series, which we're really excited to see when they may hit Australia. We've heard about them, we've seen them at Cedia. We're yet to actually get priceless and know where they're at. So, Hopefully everything in the US does well and we can get more beautiful JBL stock out of them. So the architectural series makes a lot of sense for custom cinema because being a low profile speaker, we can build them in walls, speaker baffles, behind screens and with them trim. Um, though, as that may sound, a lot of time, effort and labor to do that. So the box speakers, are absolutely brilliant when it comes to a plumbing in DIY friendly approach. Rear ported, so yeah, these speakers are not gonna wanna be right up next to a wall. You'd want 100 mil or so of space before you put them near that. I'm just gonna grab a bit of cardboard to put this speaker on. shake how cool is that so quad five and a quarter inch drivers and there's the compression driver with the waveguide so this is putting clear high frequency into us really quite a more narrow space of the room you might go well why do we want narrow sound well, actually where they're directing the sound is to the listeners where the sound isn't going is all the way over into the floor, walls and ceilings where no one sits. So we're getting good direct audio. Um, now this speaker, what I love about it is it's 90 dB in sensitivity. So it's got a good amount of output. I'm not sure if it says it on here. It says it in the spec sheet, I already checked that out. Uh, six ohms, nominal impedance. Now Harman are very good. I say Harman because JBL is part of the Harman International Audio Group. Um, they're good at following the rules. In fact, they, in many respects, sort of wrote the rules with the amount of research that I've done in California there on loudspeaker design, technology, philosophy, and psychoacoustics, how we experience sound. So when they say there are certain sensitivity and there are certain impedance, then independent tests have proven that's very much the case. So you can really trust what has been said on the box um, but then with independent reviews, we've seen that backed up as well. So 90 dB sensitivity, six ohm load, any AVR is gonna run this really pretty easily. Um, and if you can get a good set of 100 watts dynamic or so off an AVR, you're gonna be fair rocking with this speaker with some pretty big dynamics, uh, which is exactly what we want in cinema. Will they handle more power? Absolutely, though I, I wouldn't say Studio 6 would necessarily be paired with premium power amplifiers. This is going to be the better value for money option where if you can run these all off a of one box AVR, then you're getting a lot of sound for the money. So this speaker would be orientated horizontally typically um, uh, along the, I just noticed the nice little imprint on top there, Studio 6. Pretty sweet. Now these are a vinyl wrap speaker in the dark wood finish, beautiful finish um, and color, great for cinema. Um, the HDI series, the next ones up go to a real wood veneer, 
little bit sexier, higher end component tree. I think the speaker here is around just a little bit over a grand Aussie dollars. Um, so a pretty you know, nominal amount um, in, in this industry uh, for a high performance speaker, it's pretty good going. Um, now of course these, the big towers or bookshelves that can match them up, we've chose the dual eight inch tower speakers to run in our showroom with this guy. Those uh, dual eight inch towers uh, I'm trying to think of the model number, um, are 90 dB sensitivity as well. So the whole front end, the left, center, and right speakers are all the same sensitivity impedance. So the AVR is going to be flowing into the front end and you should get really good, even, high, clean output. Um, so that's what we know so far. Obviously, we're going to be hooking these up, listening, and giving them some running uh, so we can really know what they're made of. But we've got very, very high expectations. Uh, so that's it for a first look of some of the JBL Studio 6. Scott Rogan, Rogue Home Cinema. Check out the links below for more inspiration and education, everything cinema at home. Thanks.